We're going to test 10, 15, 20, and 25 PSI and see if there's a difference between them. Um, yeah, let's do that. So, what are we at? This is 10 PSI right now. Oh, it's jump, jumping in between 10 and 10 and a half. So it's on the verge, but once I plug this out, it's going to be 10. So, so 10 PSI. All right. Put the tire marked here. here. So I know when it's done with one full rotation. And I'm also going to... It's hard to get exactly underneath the tire, but right there is where it starts. I'm going to mark it with 10 PSI. And let's go ahead and... I'm going to do two full rotations so that uh, it's more obvious what's really going on because the difference might be so small that it's not noticeable in one rotation. Because right, these things can do, what, 1,000, 1,030 rotations per minute. So that's the dis distance, two rotations at 10 PSI. Let's do another one. Uh, we're gonna pump it up to 15 PSI. Fifteen PSI. We got our marker lined up right here. Fifteen. All right. Here we go. Two rotations. So I can keep it as straight as possible. So it looks about the same. I can see it's about a an eighth of an inch longer, but this is very hard to do because it's hard to ride the wheel completely straight. But if there's a big enough difference between the the distances and the based on pressure, then you know there's something or not. Uh, let's see. My guess is, is that it's not linear that. At some point, when the tire gets rounded, and then you pump a little more air, it's going to become a lot more round. That's probably like at 25, 30, 30 PSI, it probably gets way more round and you get more circumference and less, uh, less flattening. All right, so here we go. So let's pump it up to, come look at the uh, gauge here. We're going to pump it up to 20 PSI now. Okay, we're at 20. Let's pull it out. And let's test. Start right there. Got our mark. Another mark right there. That's another 20. Here we go. Two rotations. So no change, really. It looks the same. That's at 20 psi. Ending about the same spot. Oh, but we started slightly further back on that one. All right, but very slight. Like it's not noticeable. Let's do 25 psi now. Oh, gosh. same it's only it's slightly further but it's only about like a quarter of an inch now it's let's go 30 psi and we'll be done there we go let's pull it out 30 psi it's the last one here we go Distance is right there. So, I think Glenn might be right. I mean, it does change, but it's so slight that's not even noticeable. It was slightly noticeable, only on two rotations. Um, but let's measure. So 10, 10 psi, 68 and a half.
for the 15. In that. Huh. All right, well, maybe I can't tell from 69. But you know, that could be like slightly crooked writing or something. But let's see how much the numbers change here. We have to make some sense here. Uh, 69 and a half. Well, it looks like it's gone up a little bit. To the eye, it just it looks like it's not. It looks about the same, but I guess they have increased slightly. 65. It's going up by half an inch by every five. This one actually went up quite a bit more. Uh, this has gone up to 70 and a half. So this went up by like an inch instead of half an inch. And then 25 to 30. It's 70, 70 and a half. So what can we conclude from this? 10 PSI, 68 and a half inches for two rotations. Then it went up by half an inch uh, at 15 PSI. Then it went up another half an inch at 20 PSI. Then it went up one inch at 25 PSI and it remained the same from 25 to 30. So there's a little bit of room for error, but you can see there's a slight increase. It's logical. We gradually increase little by little. Very slight though. Anywhere from a half inch to an inch. Um, see. Yeah, about one, one to one and a half inches between, there's a difference between 20 PSI. Wow, okay, so that makes a difference.